I'm so excited to see what you all have achieved in the last few years. Your growth has been incredible, and I'm grateful for all of your hard work and sacrifice. A lot of that growth has been brought about by new people coming into the business to take advantage of our generous marketing plan and effective product line. So I thought I would take just a moment of your time to share with you a little bit about where Forever came from and where Forever is going. I've heard people describe this as our culture, but I think it's simply who we are. Several decades ago, I was an executive for a real estate development company called Del Webb. And at that time, there was a lot of excitement about a new business concept. And like many of my colleagues and friends, I went along to a business opportunity meeting and listened to a presentation about multi-level marketing. I immediately fell in love with the concept that people would be motivated to help each other and be able to make a living doing so. It's a beautiful thing when you think about it. Although I was enjoying my career, I didn't think that I was contributing as much as I wanted, or as much as I could, to improve the well-being of the people around me. Inspired by the concept of people helping one another, I set out to write a marketing plan. A marketing plan that is almost identical to the one that we use today. As I developed it, I had two goals. One was to pay the highest bonuses possible and still be able to run a company effectively. Two, to build a plan that would motivate and encourage people to keep working. I wanted a plan to reward those that remain active and engaged. I love the concept of a royalty income, however, I believe that it's good for our souls to work hard. People who work hard are happier. Of course, if you work hard, you should play hard. And that was one of my motivational factors in starting Forever Resorts. It was to give people the opportunity to spend time with their loved ones and experience the wonder of nature. Next time we're together, maybe I can tell you more about my passion for our resorts, our rare animals, and spectacular natural resources. So, with the marketing plan prepared, I needed to find a product. And we searched around and looked at different opportunities. I was passionate about finding something that was effective, consumable, and that we knew would not be a fad. During my search, I met a group of doctors who had developed a method of stabilizing aloe vera. They convinced me of its efficacy and we began testing the product and were amazed by the results. We were in business. We had a fair and balanced marketing plan, a consumable, effective product, and the third ingredient, an absolute conviction that we could make a difference in the lives of the people around us. And while it might have been a bit presumptuous, we honestly believed that we could make a difference in the world. We put in generous return policies, customer service incentives, and began to build this business based on the principle of being nice to one another and helping others. The success was incredible and we grew rapidly until Christmas of 1982. I was sitting at home with the family and the phone rang. They informed me that there had been a freeze at our aloe plantations in Texas and that all of our aloe was destroyed. I immediately went to the airport and flew to South Texas to see what we could do. I hoped and prayed that when I arrived, what I saw would be better than the news I had received. But that wasn't to be the case. We had no aloe. And the business immediately began to suffer. 
There were some FBOs that left, but more importantly, there were those that stayed. It was a tough time for us. We put everything on the line to stay in business, and there were many sleepless nights. But we were convinced that what we were doing was right. We decided that this would never happen to us again. We flew out to the Dominican Republic and purchased as much land as we could and began planting aloe in one of the safest weather zones in the world. In addition to the acres of plantations in the Dominican Republic, we now have plantations in Mexico and South Texas. It was a tough lesson to learn. But during the tough times, we became stronger and we grew the most. We grow roots that strengthen us and help us to overcome the challenges and obstacles that life throws at us. I have learned that solid principles and core beliefs do not have a sell-by date. It is never old-fashioned or out of style to be nice to each other, to honor your commitments, and to treat people how you would wish to be treated. I recognize that many of you might not have heard about our beginnings, as you are new in the company. I am thrilled that you're part of our forever family, but I ask you to be mindful of the foundation upon which this company has been built. Forever was built on the principles of paying the highest bonuses possible, providing the most effective and highest quality of product, and empowering people to serve one another. There are no shortcuts to success in our business. Of course, the speed at which we reach certain levels may vary, but the fundamental principles remain unchanged and will remain unchanged as we continue our journey over the next four decades and longer. There will be times when a pathway will open up to you that will tempt you to take a shortcut, to buy a little more product than you may need, to make a purchase in someone else's name, or other ways in which we are tempted to give up. What we want most for what we want now. Never forget that you're a part of something special, a business that has been built upon taking the road less traveled. It may not be as fast and as shiny as you might want it to be, but take it from me, the road less traveled is more rich, more wonderful, more fulfilling, and more lasting than you can ever imagine. We love you, we appreciate you, we are proud of you. My name is Rex Mon, and I 